When building a brand new home, it's possible to get lost in all the building jargon. Well, today I'm going to take the guesswork out of one of the terms you may have heard, and that's a drop edge beam. Drop edge beams are one of the fundamentals of building a new home. When excavating your block, soil needs to be cut and filled to create a level building platform for your slab. And when that soil is moved, it also must be retained to comply with council regulations. This can be done a few ways, but the method preferred by councils and by Montgomery Homes is through incorporating a drop edge beam. A drop edge beam is where the edge of a concrete slab runs vertically down to the natural ground level to retain fill underneath the home. By replicating a retaining wall, it alleviates the need for additional retaining post handover, along with other associated issues with neighbours and councils. Whilst it's an upfront cost, it'll reduce your peering costs and end up saving you a considerable amount after handover. This concrete drop edge beam you see here is only visible during the slab stage of a build as a brick skin will continue down the wall to complete the home, providing better aesthetics compared to an unsightly retaining wall. So, why would you need a drop edge beam? Well, drop edge beams are essential for homeowners looking to build on a sloping block. Even blocks with a slight slope of under one metre may require a drop edge beam to retain additional soil on boundaries, minimise cut and fill, and to preserve the natural ground level. It may be also useful on level blocks that are located within a flood zone, as it elevates the level of the slab to comply with council regulations. Two of the most common questions we get asked is how much does it cost and what happens if I don't use a drop edge beam? Let's talk about cost. To give you an idea, some of the costs involved with a drop edge beam come from the machine hire to prepare the site, the additional labour, bricks and the extra concrete and steel required to reinforce the foundation. However, not incorporating dropped edge beams can lead to building large retaining walls after handover, which can add considerable cost, lead to neighbour disputes and create delays with council. At Montgomery Homes, we've been building for over 30 years and we know when a drop edge beam will benefit your site, your budget and it'll comply with council. So there you have it, that's the fundamentals of a drop edge beam. Have a chat to the Montgomery Homes team about whether one is required for your build. And if you're talking to other builders and they haven't included one, ask why not. <laughs>